I have, we haven't actually started the show yet, technically. We're just Dude, BSing. I sat out in but, front of the microphone. The show started. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> but now that Jason's here, the show has started. Now it has started. We should probably start the show. Probably. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Randy. What up, Randy? What is up? Not much. And we have a guest. We do. Mr. Jason Janetti. How you doing, brother? What's happening, man? Ah, Two-time know. guest. Two-time guest, yeah. He came back for seconds. Yeah. Him up. He liked us, liked us so much, he came back to the buffet. <laughs> we haven't had anybody on more than twice, have we? Yeah. DJ? He's only been the two Christmas times. Oh, no. More than twice? No. Yeah. No. Because as I said, we've, we've... So one more, you can set a new record. Yeah, DJ's been on twice, I'm Harley's good. been on twice, Jason's GW, been on... GW, I think, twice. GW's been on twice. Hmm. Well, today's going to be a great day. I'm... I have no idea what we're going to talk about, but I do have a flight for Randy and I, so it's going to be... <laughs> so, so thanks for joining us, Jason. You can <laughs> <Yeah>. watch us. <laughs> you yeah. can watch us drink. <laughs> Sample. So what time is it where you're at right now? Uh, 11.30. Okay, that's not as bad as last time we recorded with you then. No, yeah, it's all I good. got here like 10 in the morning. I was like, oh, mid morning. It's fine. I've been up a couple hours. Jason's like fresh out of bed, <laughs> 6 a.m. or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, Martel, basically, all I know is you brought Jason on. I did. Liz is going to be on later. And Ooh. we have four well, samples. J- Liz isn't going to be on later. She just said to call about. Oh, so we're just going to get the info from her about For, what we've tasted. About this is a wine tasted. tasting. Jason actually put in his resume and his application to <laughs> yeah. be the third party on the show, and that's why he's on today, because he's now our third wheel. Awesome. <laughs> Whatever I'm, he wants I'm, to come I'm, on. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Anytime, man. Had a great time with you last time. And we yeah, had Mo too. with him last time, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I just saw Mo. Uh, just I, recently. <laughs> uh, two days, three days ago. Mosif Dingo. That's his full name. Mosif Cornelius Dingo, if you guys don't know that. It's a good um, name. Yeah, I had a. I, like I bought a bottle of uh, Maker's Forty Six cast drink he'd been looking for, and I keep looking at the TV and you, and I realize I'm not looking at my phone. So Jason probably sees me looking everywhere. <laughs> um, anyway, he was like, "Hey, when you come and buy," I said, "I'm I can swing by. It's kind of out of my way, but I'll swing by my way home Thursday from Lima." So I drive out to Dayton, get his address. Um, th- have you ever been to his place? Yeah. Yeah, when, his when backyard he, looks his, over a horse farm. It's beautiful. Yeah, he, when he had his uh, retirement party. Oh, okay. I well, went out he for didn't his invite party. me to that. I don't. I probably didn't know him then. No. <laughs> but I took it out to him. He's a great host, and he got me. He ordered food before I got there because probably he's like Randy's fat, so I'm going to get food and appease him. It makes sense. Um, but yeah, he ordered he ordered me the stuff I've never had: beef shawarma, 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 shawarma. shawarma. Never heard of it. Good kind stuff. of like I kind of recall shawarma, so it came in this like burrito looking thing, and uh, I got to tell you, when I put Mo's beef shawarma in my mouth, <laughs> I was transformed. It was incredible. <laughs> it was so good. So shout out to Mo. Thank you so much. The fries, the fries came with this dipping. It, everything was fantastic. But he was a great host. I, we got to have him on again soon, but now I just kind of want to go hang out at Mo's house all the time. Well, <laughs> so. I, I think I'm going to con- try to convince Mo. To be on the show again, and we're just going to go over to his house. Oh yeah, that's and then fine. at some point we're just going to drive out to or fly out to Jason's and crash his pad too. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. So and we'll just we'll just travel around doing nonsense podcasts, like instead of doing them here at the house. Yeah, I was going to say the only difference is we're on the road. Yeah, it'll be Buckhorn on the road. Yeah. And since we don't have to work full time, we can do that. Right. We'll just buy a camper from 1987 and. Well, technically, I can now work from anywhere. It's been released that I have to be within – I I can work from anywhere, but I have to live within 60 miles of a hub, in quotes. I don't – a hub is just an office that Alliance yeah. owns. Not bad. So, You've got options. I, yeah. Not really. No. I only have like three. <laughs> <laughs> now you can find, an, find another job. What you do so, is you find somebody like Jason – and you call one of his spare, like, you call his office a new alliance office. Like, yeah, I set up yeah. a new location for us, guys. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Wherever you're Actually, at is a new location. We might have a call center in Scottsdale. Oh, there you go. That's How far is that from you, Jason? Uh, it's 15 minutes. Yeah, Boom. I'm done. Done. I'm, I'm coming there. All right, so we're right. moving in, Jason. All right. Moving we in. We got room. Coming. It's good. <laughs> so how are things out there, out, out in the AZ, that gigantic sandbox? Yeah, I mean, it's colder here now, but... 
I mean, otherwise, I don't know. It's it's pretty chill. You know, I don't. I, it seems like it's absolutely crazy everywhere else, but I don't know. I guess if you like, if I, I've been, I, I told you the other day. I mean, I've been way more off of Facebook and stuff, and I just kind of occasionally post some workout stuff on Instagram. But if you don't watch the news or you're not on social media, you wouldn't know anything was going on at all. I oh, mean, it's it, just well, that's, it's just chill, and I mean, there's really nothing. I don't it's, know. It's kind of the same here. I mean, if if you don't pay attention to the news and you don't get you know, like. I, Stay on Facebook. I get on Facebook yeah. occasionally just to look for certain things, but I don't spend any time on Facebook anymore. And it's you know I go I go out you know whatever people wearing masks. That's the only yeah. real difference. It's cold as shit here now. Oh, yeah. I'm in gym shorts and a t-shirt. But today. You, you've got like blubber layers. I do. You don't even have you're, you're like insulated like a whale. You call it blubber. A seal. A walrus. I just call it natural insulation. It's more like a bear because I don't get in the water when it's cold. That's fine. It's. It's, but you can call it what you want. Yeah. Plus, I'm furry. Yeah. Not you, a furry anymore. Well, that, <laughs> prove it. Mm. Anyway. Uh, but I know people who have gotten COVID, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not one of those naysayers that's like, yeah, oh, this shit ain't real. But I know people have gotten it, and they're just like, yeah, it took me down for a day, and I'm fine. I know people and, like that. I'm telling. I'm talking about people who are unhealthy smokers eating out three times a three times a day not three times a week three times a day wait is that not normal no and that's what that might be what i'm doing wrong maybe but that and they're like yeah it, it took me down for a day no big deal well i know people that took down for a day uh my uncle in florida got it they put him out for three or four like hardcore but then he was fine yeah and then i actually know personally somebody that died that was seemingly healthy but Before they got it, did they have an underlying issue? Nope. Huh. That you know. So of. it's it's so weird because like I I hear your story and I you know read others and yeah not that I know of but even yeah. when he was in the hospital they're like he should be fine he'll get over it next thing we know passed. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah I I don't know but I I'm done discussing it on Facebook I'll tell you that oh much. I am over <laughs> I'm with you, you guys on that it's you like can't you can't even I mean you really I mean honestly other than like stuff like this or if you have people that can actually have conversation. You can't talk to any about anything with anyone like anymore. And especially not on social media. Like it's just, right. I, you know, I laugh like I, you know, I put that little, I that picture up like last night. Like I honestly, I didn't pay very much attention in school. I just wasn't interested in it. I was always somebody who could just kind of build shit, fix things. And I wanted to be outside. And so I didn't, I didn't pay nearly enough attention to stuff. So like, I was like, well, what the hell? I bought like a few books and, the one that I started with was more of like an infographic than anything. So it was kind of like looking at pictures, but it was like, had a lot of cool information. And, uh, you know, that was even talking about how like the press is one of their responsibilities was to like advocate for people, like exchanging ideas and things. And it's like, now yeah. it's not, it's either like this group's going to tell you this, this group's going to tell you that. And there is no in between, there is no talking about things. I mean, I've had full blown loud arguments with, a good friend over this stuff with, because he was just assuming shit for no reason, not actually sitting and talking about anything, just on Facebook, just yelling at people about shit, yeah, you know, or whatever. And I just, I can't, I can't deal with that stuff anymore because nobody wants to talk. It's just like, if yeah. you don't believe this, then fuck you. And if you don't say this, then whatever. And I just, I don't, I, I'm sure that there's plenty to worry about with this stuff, but it just seems to me like, this is all that exists now. I've said it from the beginning. I worry more. My concern is, is the, you know, anything anymore that comes up now is going to get used for some kind of either political gain or financial gain or just something fucked up. That's always been my thing. So it's like, and you see it happening everywhere. They're just using a lot of this to control everyone. I understand there's things yeah. to be concerned about and there's, but there's also different ways to do it where you're not forcing people to do things. If I want to take the risk to go out and do that, like I still wear a neck gaiter or a mask or whatever. Like I'm not an asshole with people, but it's just like, I don't, I just don't understand how everything is just so one-sided and people are doing things purely out of spite or out of hate or whatever. And well, the know, way, I don't... we had a couple friends over last night um, just for dinner and playing some games and stuff. And I was talking to them and they were expressing, their displeasure with a group of friends mm -hmm. and how it just becomes more of that same kind of 
you know, there's always somebody that's going to disagree. And I was like, you know, when it comes to anything politics, well, I've always said politics, religion, and sports are the three that can fire up anybody. I can divide right. a room real right. quick. But I said, no matter what, whether you're talking to 30 people or 300, any decision you make or anything you say, somebody's going to disagree with and some more than others, right? Right. Facebook, I feel like we get on there and we have round number, say a thousand quote unquote friends, right? Which the reality is 20 of those are probably family. Five are really friends that we even hang out with on a regular basis. Some are coworkers we see, but, but you have say a thousand people that have the ability to interact with you on Facebook. Well, if you take, if you say 3% of any crowd will absolutely hate you and fight you on anything you do, when it's a thousand people and you put it out there, that's a large number. Yeah. And those are usually the people that don't say anything, don't interact with you. Like I, I post, you guys see my Facebook. I had to snooze you. I post, that's fine. <laughs> I'll admit, I, I, I love slipped. the shit that you put up. <laughs> I love it, but there was yeah. one day that I went through the last week. Yeah. And I was, I was specifically It was probably the looking, one day last week I did my dump, because last week I wasn't on that much. I, well, I, I was looking specifically for like... Just, you know, the barbecue group and the gym group, like, look, and it was like, Randy, 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 Randy. It was like the the 20 posts. I'm like, fuck, I got to snooze him. I can't, I cannot do this, like, today. Well, ever since I went viral on TikTok, I don't know if I told you that. Oh, shit. I kind of backed off Facebook. TikTok. I hated I TikTok I until I got on TikTok. <laughs> and I started seeing the funniest videos, and I spent, like, three hours There are, but I just, I cannot do I'm with that. you. I, I don't. Get it. But I, I put up a dumb video. Which I put on my Facebook, too, so you guys might have seen it. But it was about all these people were putting up what I mean when I say I live in Ohio. And it was like Hocking Hills and the Football Hall of Fame and Cuyahoga Falls and the Caverns. Like all these really nice places in Ohio. They're actually pretty cool to go visit. They're all right in the same spot. So I, I – no, they're not. <laughs> Hocking Hills, Old Man's Cuyahoga Cave. Falls. Oh, fuck Cuyahoga The Caverns. Falls. They're way up north. Nah. Belfontaine area. No one wants to be up north. That's that, why that's Jason true. left. That's Jason, <laughs> Jason left Northern <laughs> Ohio. He lived more than Ohio. Yeah, he North didn't East want to be Northern Ohio. He went way. <laughs> he did not want to have any association right. anywhere near Cleveland. But I, I was driving around for work, and when I go to work, I try to get there quickly. I take freeways. But on the way home – I like taking back roads. I find little mom and pop shops, bakery, you know, just local spots. Yeah. Or I'll see something cool. So I'm taking this back roads home, and every little town I went through looked like it had maybe it, it, anywhere between like 30 and 300 reds, like tiny towns. And a whole mouth of teeth between all of them. No. Either right before or right after that town was a Dollar General that you could tell they bought a corner part of a cornfield. So I would just grab my phone and hit record as I'm driving by. So I made this video and said, what I mean when I say I live in Ohio and it had this song about Ohio, and it just went to all these reels. It flipped through Dollar Generals. And I made it on the way to Tennessee. I had 46 followers. My Most of my videos, none of them had over, like, 300 views. But most of them had, like, between 10 and 50. Okay. Just nothing. It's, it's people that know me mainly. By the time we got to Gatlinburg, I had, like, over 7,000 views on that video and, like, another 100-something friends. I was like, oh, okay, well, or followers, not friends. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. The next morning, I, I got off TikTok, forgot about it. The next morning, I woke up, and I opened TikTok, and I said, notifications, 99 plus. <laughs> and I was like, God. I've never had 99. I don't get 99 plus on Facebook on my birthday. Oh, my like, God. I'm, I'm so lucky I if I get it. 10 anymore. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. I, I opened it, and I got I had all these messages. Long story short, between I've been back a week now. I now have like 1,400 followers, and that video's gotten 143.7 thousand views last time I checked a day or two ago. Whoa. No idea why, but everybody's like, that Dollar General's here, and I'm like, actually, it's not. And I, like, I got 3,000 comments. I'm trying to figure out how to get paid, basically. My nephew has 2 million followers on TikTok. Well, then tell him to share my videos. <laughs> and Hook a brother up. <laughs> no. I still don't get it, though. I don't get it though. I, I can't. I, like that, I never. The videos I make that I think are hilarious yeah. will get crap, and then I put up Dollar Generals and it goes viral. Yeah. Which it's not like like they're bigger videos, but anyway, enough with the social medias. <laughs> but you can follow me at Otis Nice on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also find him at the same name on Instagram and Facebook, just because he changed his name so no one can find him. Nope, Instagram's still Chieftain Forge. I haven't changed that. Well, if you search for Otis Nice, it'll come up with Chieftain Forge. Oh, Facebook owns them now and all that. Yeah, and now yeah. the government's trying to separate them. God, I hope they do. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that. Yeah. The Why? government's uh, monopoly. Now they're worried about that? 
I, I mean, Google or invest- YouTube, they're going to separate that? I think they've been investigating it for a while. Jeez. I read some kind of article about that the other night, some kind of antitrust something or other, which I don't fully yeah. under, I don't. How about we talk about my antitrust of the government? Well, <laughs> Let's put that up. I'll let, I'll let the government do this one because I don't like the fact that Facebook owns Instagram, and I like Instagram, but I hate Facebook. I liked YouTube better before Google owned it. Well, yeah. But, That's a whole other thing, too. Um, so let's – I'll tell you what. Let's, so if you hate social media, email us at buckhornpodcast.gmail.com. Or just leave a message on Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do this tasting here. We're just going to do all four shots as quick as we can. No. Oh. Because uh, that would be a waste of money. Your money. Right. Oh. <laughs> so if I drink it slowly, it's not a waste. No. But if I just shoot it, it is. shoot, it's a waste. Oh, oh, oh Diesel. Hold on. Diesel just completely wrecked. Our entire setup. He tripped on a cord. Buddy, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looks sad. I'm glad that we still have headphones on. Yeah, we have headphones on. Are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it all looks good on my end. <laughs> okay. If Jason can hear us. Literally yeah. off of Martell's stand-up desk was the headphone plugger-in module. I'm, yeah. You can tell I'm the technical one on this team. Headphone amp and... And the recording thingy. And the recorder just... Went to the floor. They're just like dangling. <laughs> get the hell out of here, dog. <laughs> Mark opened the door, let him out, and he immediately started growling to get back in. <laughs> he ain't coming back in right now. Anyway. Anyway, we're going so to taste. I have four from Virgil Kane sitting here. I'm intrigued now. And Diesel's back. Oh, <laughs> okay. Over otherwise. Okay. Okay, we're good. So, so we're good. So I have four from high Virgil quality Kane. podcasting. Yes, so <laughs> I'm not even editing that out. So it'll, it'll all stay. I don't care. Um, no, I know that's the the whole point of us having a unscripted, unedited show. So all four of these from Virgil Kane. We're going to try to guess which ones. Which we've had them. We've had all these four. All but one. Okay, so how am I going to guess? If well, I've never had it? because you've had the other three. So the one that's unknown, you can just marked down as an unknown. Gotcha. Okay. So, but I'm not going to tell you what four they are until we're done. Until we're done, and I don't know which glasses what's in what glass. So, so Jason can see all of our glasses are labeled with an A, B, C, or D. Uh, okay. So, and I had Liz pour and label all of these for us um so we can just kind of taste them and try to figure out what's what. Like One of them we haven't had. This is going to be super exciting for Mr. Jason here. I know. It's but he can come I'm, I'm into it, man. Guys, I don't know why you guys fucking I don't know shit about stuff. any of that stuff, but I'm into it. We don't you, either. So. You drink bourbon or whiskey? <laughs> no, I, I don't really drink anything. I mean, I've had it before. I I would assume at some point, but never just never did so it. You, on purpose or Yeah. Yeah, I just <laughs> no, I don't know. I guess to me I never did it. I mean, I never I definitely never had the money. I guess was always just dead broke. So I never spent it on anything else, but like, I just never really got into it. I guess. I don't know. I never, I always got weird aftertastes or whatever from anything that I had ever tried. I was never really into it anyway, but even when I did, I was like, eh, you know, it's okay. So whiskey or bourbon's not for everybody. You're, you're more of a cocaine guy. It's yeah. Fine. I mean, it's, yeah, I try to stick to the powders, man. <laughs> it's okay. With, hey, there's nothing wrong with the Look, if stuff. You, you said you don't have never had money. If you've got money to move from Ohio to Arizona, you've got money oh, to stay in a trailer park a... in Ohio and buy whiskey. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does it cost money to move from Ohio? No, it was Arizona? just a couple tanks of gas. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably about what I had left when I did come must here. Be nice a, <laughs> must be nice living in a van. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So start with A. Okay. And... Just, you know, normal tasting stuff. Nose, palate, all the, the usual shit that we go through. This is the uh, Rip Track. Rip Track? Okay. Or is it Roundhouse I'm thinking of? I don't know. You write down You write down whatever you think that they I'm are. I'm going off the nose. I know that A is either Rip Track or Roundhouse, okay. but I can't remember. And I'm going off the nose, but let me taste it. I'm intrigued because I, I, I feel like... And I, this is one I've I've not had all the uh, owned all the Virgil Kings you have, but I've owned right. this one. I'm th- I'm pretty sure. Ooh. I like it. it. Doesn't matter. It gets five stars. Well, of course we like Donuts. it. It's Virgil King. I know. I've not had a bad Virgil King. I have not either. Okay, I don't think it's the rip track. Okay, 
That might be the electric owl. I don't know. So I don't even know what my options are. No, I'm not telling you what the options are. <sighs> I, need multiple I know <laughs> I know what the options are, but I don't know which one's which, and I'm not telling you what the options are. Well, that's are. a disadvantage. No, it's not, because yeah. I, I haven't had any of these. Cheater. Hold on. I haven't had a drink. But you're picking from four. I'm picking from everything. You're picking – I'm picking from four, and you're basically picking from six. It's not really a disadvantage there. You know, so I'll, and I'll tell you, you're picking from five because I'm going to tell you, one of them is not the, not ginger. Well, I figured that would be a dead giveaway. That would be a dead I, giveaway. I could pick that out of a lineup any day. So one of them's not ginger, which only leaves me with the high rye. So high rye, roundhouse. Rip track. I don't have rip track. Cross off that answer. Well, I was like, I'm going with my gut. I don't have it. Nope. Okay, so, so I'm going to go. It's either Roundhouse or Electric Isle. I'm going. Well, pick one. I'm going Roundhouse A. Okay. I bet you I get all four of these wrong. wrong. Well, I don't statistically, you much. may be able to get one right. You would think, uh, but if you ever saw how well I did in school. As long as you do abracadabra across the the Scantron punch. If I put all C's, I've got to get one right. Yeah. Right? I mean, One of them point. has to be... Wait, I can't just put C. I've got to pick them. you got to actually <laughs> If write I put the name. all roundhouse, I've got to be able to get one. You're, yeah. So just write all roundhouse down. No big deal. I went roundhouse. I'm actually saving one. a little bit for I, to I, retaste. I can't remember Electric Owl. Yeah. It's been so long, and I've only sampled it one so, time. And what I was going to say is I haven't had any alcohol... In probably six and a half, seven weeks. Yeah, as I we say, aren't you on some kind of challenge thing? I heard it that. ended yeah. yesterday. Oh, okay. And that first sip of whiskey <laughs> was fantastic. I was I just, goosebumps. I, you know what? It may. It could have been Jim. It could have been that Beam Eight Star. No, and it may, I may have been like, oh, this no, is really. No, if good. you drink the Beam Eight Star as your first back, you would have given up altogether. I'd probably, you'd be like, I'm never drinking. I would have given up on life. Oh, that shit's horrible. disgusting. But Mo brought that up too. I, I like, uh, nope. I had a gl- so I had a glass of wine, two glasses of wine, or actually eight glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had two thermoses of I had, wine. Well, so thanks, Stanley. You make it up for lost time. Yeah. Right. Well, you would lose a point for the day for just that one day if you drank any alcohol. So I'm like, well, if I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna fucking drink. You could just lose so, a point. You could drink all day every day and only lose one point a day. Right. That's I mean, not bad. You can still do bad. really well in the challenge. Um, you might not feel really well. You wouldn't feel well. You would lose. You you would lose a lot of points though. One a day, if that's the only one point. One a day you lost. for six weeks. So six points. No. Oh, one a day. One for a six day weeks. for six weeks. So six out of forty-two points. Yeah, that's a lot. Out so, of out of four hundred and twenty. Forty-two. I mean, you're talking ten percent, bro. That's not that much. That's a lot. Ninety percent still in A. That's that's a lot when you're trying to come in first. Did you come in first? I think I may have come in first. I was thinking if you did it, that it was all for not. It, it's a, it's a moot point. I did 417 points. Out of 420? Out of 420. Not I bad. I lost two for, for Thanksgiving, the day of Thanksgiving, Worth and it. then Friday when I drank the eight glasses of wine total, not each day. Um, and then I fucked up and didn't have enough vegetables for the day. And Liz stuck, like, she set out a bag of carrots and hummus. She's like, you know, you need to. I got vegetables out of here while I was fucking around on my laptop researching stuff and didn't eat vegetables. And He was Googling pictures of whiskey. I was <laughs> bacon. Actually, well, throughout the whole process of this, I would open a bottle and I'd smell it. You told me about that. I would just open it like. <laughs> oh. Should have got a bourbon from the candle. <laughs> it, was, it was so good. It was so good. So, All right. But, I changed my, my answer A. So I don't know what any of these are. And I haven't had, I haven't had anything from Virgil Cain in probably three months. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's been I it's been, it's been a while than that for me. So I put electric owl for this one. Okay, I'm I, probably wrong. But I went with roundhouse. I, see, I, I when I switched from rib track, I went to roundhouse, and I sipped it again. And I put electric owl. I think it's roundhouse though. But you do you. I want to leave it electric owl and see. Okay, all right. Um, let's do B or and cleanse my palate. I already did all that. Ooh. I, don't I don't know if know that matters because so I don't good. know if I have a palate. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna come out to Arizona and just walk you through like a tasting, Jason. Yeah. Just, just to kind of like the whole. I it wasn't even. I wasn't even craving a glass of like. I didn't really want to drink the whiskey. I wanted the process. Liz and I were actually talking about this today. Like, 
I like drinking whiskey, but it wasn't like I wasn't like craving a glass of whiskey. I was craving the process of opening a bottle, pouring it, smelling it, tasting it. Yeah, like the it, whole it's process an of that. It, yeah, the experience of the whiskey, not so much the drinking of it. Well, that's and, like, and well, Liz said the same thing. She's like, well, she goes, I kind of missed that as well. She goes, it's not the wine that I wanted. She goes, it's the process of it's the relaxation, opening the bottle, yeah. Yeah. pouring the glass, having a glass while I'm making dinner. You know, and enjoying that experience of cooking and having a glass of wine, not right. so much drinking the wine. Because you got, right. I mean, you're not drinking just to drink. Right. You're doing it. So that, for me, that's like, I used to smoke a pack or more cigarettes a day. It was just a bad habit I had for many years of my life. Um, that probably explains why my voice always sounds so amazing. But <laughs> when I switched, I, you know, I quit smoking, went to E6 before vaping was a thing. I quit that. But I still would have that these moments where I would struggle. And when I found smoking a quality pipe with quality tobacco, it's a process where you get the tobacco out, you pick out your pipe if you have more than one. You gotta pack the pipe, you gotta make sure it's got good airflow, you light it slowly, you smoke it slowly, you don't inhale it, it's good flavored tobacco. It's more of the experience than smoking. And I haven't smoked a pipe I don't think all this year. Maybe I jinxed twenty twenty. But I really do. I've got them. I've got a whole display down in the kilns at home. But I'm with you. It's like it's more the process of okay. Like for me, it's like the boys are in bed. It's nice out. I'm gonna sit on the patio, pack a pipe, and just puff on it. Leave the yeah. phone inside, or just play music through it. Don't be on Facebook or nothing. Just relax. Yeah. So I get it. I mean, that's I all. I'd be. That's all I've ever seen, even on a couple of documentary things about making. Everything is, it's always like about the process and the whole experience of it and what you're looking for. Yeah. And I mean, it's cool. Like I said, I've, I've never been into any of that stuff, but I think that that stuff's neat, you know. It is, the, and it's really good neat, too. It's the <laughs> yeah. term for drinking it. Yeah. Oh, sh- boom. Anyway. <laughs> um, I've also submitted my answer for me. Okay. Does yours taste? How's it taste? Smoother than A. Okay. So, our elf showed up. I smelled this one, and I crossed out Electric Owl for A and went back to Roundhouse because I think this one's Electric Owl. Okay. I'm going to actually have Liz re-pour this one for me because I don't think she'd actually... So, our elf showed up. We yep. have an elf on the shelf. I'm sorry. And that little motherfucker... I'm not doing that crap. That's too much work. <laughs> it's Well, I haven't had to deal with it. But I'd, little, I'd, I'd kill that thing off by, like, day three. Like, I'm done. That little <laughs> bastard took out two bottles of whiskey out of my cabinet. And then took two of the Glencairn glasses and filled them both up with water and had a little sit around with friends. And I don't think Liz dumped the water out of this one glass. Okay, that <laughs> might be why it tastes so smooth. <laughs> well, just this this glass. Oh, not mine. Not yours. So Text maybe she did. I did. She said it she It looks did. like it's got good color. Okay. All right. It just it, But it, it does taste – that's what I'm saying. It tastes way smoother than A. It doesn't have the bite. Which tells me A might okay. be the high rye. All right. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with the, how it is, and then I'll I'll figure it out. Later. I, I called B electric owl. You're calling B electric owl because I remember electric owl being a more. I, I remember the quality of it was a much milder drink. It okay. wasn't a lower proof, but it was there's just something different about it. A tastes a little harsher to me. Okay. In a good way. I mean, it just tastes. It's got more bite. I should say. I'm gonna I'm gonna save some of that. And yeah, I'm saving a little of each for each. But oh my god! Anyway, so how's the wife? She doing good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our flight and then just randomly ask you personal questions. Yeah, yeah I mean, hey, what the well, hell? Hey, how's actually, that rash so, between your hold legs? Hold on, hold on. I said, <laughs> oh yeah, I I said, how's the wife? When Jason was on here previously, it wasn't the wife. You're right. No, that is true. Yeah. It was the escort. Yeah. <laughs> out. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. We, we may have to stop and then come back. I okay. just got a 10-minute warning. Yeah, it popped up oh, on my same. screen, too. It bastards. Man. Well, that's easy to, That's easy enough to edit through. I'll say we can just literally pause. We just and stop and start it back start up. Start a new one. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'd, no big deal. Okay, so how's the wife? You got less anyway. than 10 minutes now. Go. <laughs> she's, she's fine. She's fine. Everything's good. She's at the gym. Are you both today. working from home? No. I, I've i been out and about this entire okay. whole thing. She does now, though. They Her company's mainly remote now. So, 
So that, that's nice. I like being I like being remote. But Jason Jason's coming to install my pool next summer. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Is he gonna do it shirtless? Mm-hmm. Yes. I will be here to watch. Yep. He's gonna That's why I'm working out now, man. Yeah. We'll record on the deck. Ready. Well, I'm gonna take my shirt off too, but I ain't been working out. Well, oh, that's all right. It gets hot for a fat boy in the summer. <laughs> I'll waller in the pond watching you build a pool. Yeah, don't, don't come out here from like, God, what is it, like May oh, May to August. Or, oh, we actually had a little bit even into September. It's it's so no. ridiculous, man. I was out it in was it every day. here yesterday. Yeah, no yeah, way. It was 60 here yesterday. Yesterday, nice. 60. Beautiful. It was kind of windy. Yeah. But I was all about it. I'm not going to Arizona in the summer. No, nah, you that. can't, man. I was it's, out there it's in miserable. January sweating. Yeah, it's, it's miserable. miserable. And we had like record... Uh, you know, I, I say we like I've been here a long time, but like, uh, hey, you're there. It's, yeah, I'm here now. But um, Are yeah, you? it's it's it, we had like a, an insane. They, they broke some crazy record of like this the longest streak of days in first the 100s, and then it was in the like the <laughs> teens. I mean, there was days where it, my like you know it's always probably 15 or so degrees hotter that you read on your dash if the truck's been sitting. Oh, I've man. never seen the thermometer on my dashboard say 136 before. Like, wow. it was just like because there was there were, we had one day. I'm almost positive it was like 122 outside. It was it was just no. it's the most ridiculous <laughs> thing I've ever experienced See, in my life. That's... I've got friends and family left and right bailing to Florida and talking about how great it is right now and all this. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's the same. Y'all as Y'all don't here. brag in the summer though. <laughs> the, yeah, the, I mean, it's the same nasty same humidity, you know, down there. But I, but you know, it's here. It's just ridiculous. I mean, you're just yeah. That's it. Really is just a high. sandbox that they they made it a little bit more livable. But like, I mean, I, when I'm outside, like you can't you can't leave anything out in the sun. Like not anything, not a shovel, not a hammer, anything. You can't you can't, you can't pick it, it back up. Not your new wife. <laughs> she's, out there, she's like, oh, she's dead. She's now jerky. Yeah. So one thing I noticed when, when I was out in Arizona, uh, when we flew out there, and I, maybe your house is the same, maybe not. You can confirm or deny, but every single house, not every building, the casino we stayed at and stuff wasn't, but every single house was one floor, or one story at least, may have a basement, I don't know, Most of and them two are. air conditioners, oh, if yeah. I could see where the ACs were. Is the, that how yours is? Depending, well, we just have one that's on the roof. Which I'm not a fan of, but like it's just where it's at. Yeah, but that's, yeah, okay. it's there. It's weird. There's some of these neighborhoods are like that. Any of the newer places are generally going to have them down on the ground now. But yeah, there's a, a lot of places have backups. Um, if the house is big enough, I mean, they probably have three or four. You know, so Jeez, but it's yeah, they're they're mostly one story. I don't know of any that have basements. Um, because like out here, it's. Uh, even even just trying to dig stuff by hand, there's so much rock in the ground. It's insane. Like, oh, I didn't even you know, know what I mean, that. so it's like there's uh, one one of the one of the people that we were doing some work for, like the guy that came to dig their pool. They had to make a decision on a possibility of their bill being like another fifteen thousand dollars higher because they actually ran into granite. So it was like, oh, wow. do, are you really That's worth? Nuts. Yeah, is it, was it really worth them spending all that money to basically like do whatever they had yes. to do to, to get that done? To have so. a pool in Arizona, yes. Is, is the granite yeah. worth anything uh, though? Like, could the homeowner take the granite and sell it I off to know. a mill and have it milled out? To it's a good question. I have no I idea. Know. It was that, just I mean, whatever it was. So it's like was you pay be, fifteen grand, but maybe you get ten back or yeah, something. Maybe yeah, you get something back just to you know, if the depending on how much the granite shelf. Is yeah, that they hit. I don't know, but it was oh. it was somewhere they were like they you know normally they dig those things out in a day, you know, maybe two days, and they're like, yeah, it's going to probably take us two or three weeks. <laughs> now that I think about it, too, I didn't see many pools again driving through. We st- we flew into Tucson, went to some casino, mm-hmm. and then we went out to this ranch that I know was thirty six miles north of the border. That's all they told us. Yeah, but I don't remember seeing a single pool out of house either. They were all one story. It the well, it, it depends because had- like. I mean, Tucson's like two, two and a half hours. It's almost like me driving from where I used to live to Columbus. It's like, it's, it's about two hours, two and a half hours or so. So it's a lot farther south. Um, so I've only been down there once. Um, but I mean, up here they're, they're putting them in everywhere. You know what I mean? But you, but not everybody has them, you know, it's, 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 but I think now it's going to be even more popular because it just, it just seems to be as weird as weather was getting like, when back home, it's it just seems like it's just getting hotter and hotter, and it's it's just kind of crazy, man. Like it's it's so ridiculous. Like now it's cold, but you know, thanks global warming. Yeah, yeah. 
global swarming. Mm-hmm. It's Swarm. nuts. Mm. Not very enjoyable. Thanks, I mean, Al Roker. Yeah. <laughs> but well, with everybody working from home, I think I think pool sales have been through the roof. Yeah. Since the beginning of, of COVID, I mean, we went in June to get a pool, to, or to we knew we weren't getting it last year, but we went in June to, to talk to the pool company, and they're like, "You're looking at July, August of next year." Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Well, it's weird. It's like everybody got sent home to work, and then everything, they, they just start buying crap. Yeah. Maybe the stimulus yeah. checks helped, but the stimulus checks weren't that much. Not yeah. pool no, much. No, 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 hell but no. my buddies that, yeah, my buddies that, like, sell cars, they can't get cars in their lots. Mm-hmm. Like Jordan from Jet Auto, he could have 100 cars at any given time. Now he's got, like, 30, and yeah. it's been that way for months. Well, like, that's no it's one's insane. selling their cars because no one's driving anywhere. Like I'm saved. But I people sold, are buying cars. That's what no, I'm saying. I like sold they sold inventory, Audi. but they can't get any in from the auctions. Even like no. nobody's getting rid of stuff. Like yeah. I sold my Audi because I wasn't driving it anymore, and the Nissan it's still sitting there, ain't it? No, I wish it was. It'd be so did great it finally sell? I think they sent it to auction. Probably they were they asking twenty. For, they were asking twenty two for a twenty thousand dollar car. Yeah, I couldn't get twenty out of it. and I was selling it. Myself, they were asking twenty two for this car, and it. it I mean, it's a pretty it's, Volkswagen. It's, it's a twelve thousand dollar car. It's worth it. It's more than twelve thousand, <laughs> and it was worth twenty thousand. But they decided to put it for twenty two because didn't they first put it for twenty four? No, it was twenty two, and was then they, they dropped it to twenty one, um, and then it was gone. But and I sold it to them, and I'm, I I should have got more out of it, but. I just want to get rid of it at that done. point. I did it out of spite because of two buyers that ba- that one backed out and one was haggling me trying to get me to sell it to him for twelve five. And I told him to kiss my ass. Um, and then I told him I sold it to the dealership and what I sold it to him for out of spite. <laughs> so because really got more, yeah. <laughs> so, but like the Nissan dealership sent Liz a message or called her and then Ann sent an email about tra- selling back her Nissan, and I'm like, fucking sell it back. I hate that thing. Yeah. She's like, no, it's it'll be paid off in two years. I don't want to take on another car payment that's going to prolong it, you know, another five years or well, then get whatever. a better quality vehicle that'll be about the same. I'm like, I just get a used vehicle. Get rid of that fucking thing. Yeah. Well, I was looking at used um, Highlanders. Yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd love a Highlander. I would too. I don't know that it would fit in my garage, but nah, it'd be fine. <laughs> Let's just see if my Lincoln will fit in your garage. No. It'll be halfway in Archie's yard. It'll, you know, it's, if it's not already in halfway in, <laughs> halfway in Archie's yard. All right. Um, less than a minute. But anyway, yeah, less than a minute. So let's end this and then pick it back. I'll just cancel we'll it and then end it and then restart it again, and we'll just pick up where we left off. Sounds okay. good. All right. All right. Cool. So what bottles have you bought up? Let's talk about that. So I picked up um, – a bottle of Maker's Cast Strength, Maker's 46 Cast Strength. Okay. I got a bottle of that. I picked up a, ma- a bottle of the Maker's um, Distillery bottle, the one that's supposed to be distillery only that they released in Ohio. comes in a red box. The 101. That's the one I got. Is it 101? Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got that. Um, I got Have a, you, tri- you haven't tried that yet? I haven't. Well, I haven't been drinking anything. Oh, you're right. Oh. Um, I picked up a bottle of... Well, I got the the bottle from Kansas. It's called Boot Hill Distillery. Okay. Bottle from Kansas. Supposed to be really good. Um, I got a bottle of Old Tub. I've got a gigantic bottle of Buffalo Trace that I want to slap a unicorn sticker on and then try to sell it on Boco for like an <laughs> absurd amount of money. I hope you do. I, I want to put like – I just want to find the most magical, gigantic unicorn sticker that I can find. Just smack it on the back or put something? Put it on the back. Probably right up the side of the like yeah, like all the, the store pick ones. Yeah, right up the side of it, and just be like, "This was a like a club pick that doesn't exist anymore from like a year ago." They sponsored the unicorn games and just, just anything unicorn related. Anything, yeah, and they they call it the fucking magical bottle. Like they did small bottles of this and large bottles. It's the only bottle left, and just play this whole story and inside see, baseball. I know a guy. You won't even be able to Google this. Yeah, you can't find him. You can't find anything about it. And I just want to do that to that bottle. That'd be hilarious. I got, well, I've got unbottled of Blantons. I found a bottle of Blantons that I bought for a buddy of mine. Yeah. Um, Talk about that one. I got another bottle of Weller Special Reserve. That's no big deal. I got four bottles of the Bourbon County Stout, but different variants, three different variants. What's that Goose Island stuff? Is that any good? That's it. 
Goose Island Bourbon County. Because they had it at the drive through You had it here on the show. Okay. Calm down. No. Somebody on Boca was selling that stuff for like. Yes, I know. They were selling it for an absurd amount of money. I can get it for twelve ninety nine. Well, so there's different variants of it. The twelve ninety nine. That's what I was asking. The twelve ninety nine variant is their run of the mill straight whatever. Okay. It's just the but then they have different variants, like some that are More in Weller Weller barrels, some that were stored in larceny barrels. That's why I didn't buy them. But then that night when I saw them, same drive through I got the bourbon cream from. Yeah. I went home and on Boca, they're going for like three hundred bucks for three bottles, and somebody bought it. Yeah, that's those like, are there's the the special the the variant yeah, bottles. But somebody paid a hundred bucks for a bottle of beer. Yes, I know. And three that, times that over. person is a fucking moron. <sighs> I don't give a shit what it, no bottle is is worth that. Be- it's just a bottle of beer. It's not even a whiskey or a bourbon or rare wine or anything. It's just a rare beer. Goodness, it's a rare beer. I mean, the, you get the, you get the same thing in beer. That you get in whiskey, you get rare bottles or hard to get bottles or one time release. But like that's a, lot a much of... smaller qu- quantity. Yeah. Than you know a seven hundred fifty milliliter whiskey. Yeah. Well, they're, and... t- they're twenty twenty two ounce bottles, twenty ounce bottles. Yeah, it was just crazy. I, mean, I couldn't believe Something it. Like that. They're 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 bigger than your normal bottle. Um. And they're one off. Like they'll never be produced again. Like, that variant of that. I, I personally would never pay that, even with all that being said. I wouldn't do it with whiskey, either. I would not spend yeah. that much. But I did spend, so it cost me $75 for the four bottles that I bought. Yeah, okay. that's not bad. One of the bottles alone was 30 bucks. Yeah. And it's a very, it, it was a harder variant of those bottles to find. And I was fine with that. I, did, I wasn't going to complain about it. So, all right, let's see if we can kickstart this show again. Join. Join. Yeah, I'm using computer audio. No shit, Sherlock. All right, you can join now. Use the same link. Uh, I can get text messages on my computer I noticed now. that. It's pretty, I saw the little text thing. It's pretty fucking legit. Is that because you got an iPhone? Yep. Nice. When did yeah. you get that? Uh, last week. Nice. He wasn't supposed to be here until sometime the week before Christmas. So, yep, we're recording. Good. Yeah, so I actually made, I made the switch over to iPhone. I'm, I was having too many issues with my Android phone. iPhone also got a swipe keyboard. They made a big announcement about it. They did. I don't use swipe keyboard. I don't either, Android. but I'm glad they finally got what Samsung's had for about eight years. Well, I think that they were just – they Apple does what they do. They, they copy will, everything and then release it like it's a big deal. No, they perf- in some cases they either perfect it or somebody else copies their shit and tries to perfect it and then they re-release it and make it better. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Jason is all about Apple products. Yeah, he's an, he's an Apple fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's tragic. That might be going a little too far, yeah. but tragic. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't. Say, I I don't know. For me, I guess I've been, I guess I've had both. I've had a bunch of different droids. I've but I've always it just ended up coming back to Apple stuff. So I've always liked the MacBook better. I don't know. I mean, I've had to use. I did have to buy a PC. It was actually a gaming PC. It wasn't anything super high end, um, because for a little bit I was messing around with um, 3D renderings for customers. Um, so I had one of those. Was a Rogue that Republic yeah. of Gamers or whatever? You even got a shirt up for him. So it was. <laughs> well, not that road. <laughs> I mean, if you cover theirs, is if you cover up Wrong. the U and the E here. But uh, yeah, but it's uh, it was interesting. But I, I definitely haven't messed with Windows stuff, you know, in quite a while. But anything, I mean, it seems like anything design wise now, like I was considering maybe looking into like learning SolidWorks or something like that. Like you can't use Mac for any of that yeah. stuff anyway, so it's like you still have to have. Things. You know, yeah. still gotta get Windows, I, yeah. I miss my Windows PC. Like, I like this MacBook that I bought, um, but I miss my Windows PC. I can't I, – I was big on computer games. Like, I would play computer games, hook it up to my TV, and just, you know, mm-hmm. rock out. But I can't do that with Mac. Like, they don't support gaming. But on the upside, yeah. processing processing this show or doing any photo stuff or now that I've, I just switched to iPhone, everything just – works like 
I think it's personal other experience. Than the, other than that one, uh, that one show that got lost. <laughs> Everything just Everything works. works except that and the key falling off the computer. <laughs> well, that was, that, was, that was a refurb defect. That wasn't an Apple <laughs> issue. Um, I think it's a preference thing. I've got both phones. I've got an iPhone for work, and yeah. I don't like Android phones except Samsung. So I don't like that's Samsung my own. Phones. Yeah, so I think it's just personal preference. Um, my iPhone for work, it's fine. It works. They pay for it. It was free. I, so I don't complain. But well, for personal why would use, you? It's a free phone. right? That's what I'm yeah. saying. For personal use, um, I've always used. Not always. I've tried both, but I keep going. I'm the opposite. I keep going away from iPhone. Yeah. Well, this is my third so, iPhone. Like I had a three, a six, and a twelve. So I just keep multiplying. I thought you were gonna say nine. Three, six, nine. Damn, you're fine. Suck it to me, suck it to me one more time. No, I think you need a drink. So. We're on C now. <laughs> yeah, this we're, uh, on, we're C, on C. So. <laughs> You're going to have fun editing this show. Oh, this will be an easy edit. I'm just going to roll the whole thing. Everything we talked about between converting the audio down between the two shows, I'm just going to leave it all in there. <laughs> it's going to be a it. great it's episode. It's going to be a great episode. This smells good. And it tastes really good. Yeah. Hi, Ray. Okay. I know. I know what this one is. Well, then I'm not going to put hi, Ray, because you said a sarcastic okay, and then said you know what this is. Ooh, there's some burn in the chest. Yeah, I like this one. Mm. I know exactly what this one is. So, on the nose for this one, I get a little bit of cinnamon. And some, not much vanilla or toffee, but I am picking up some cinnamon or some sort of a baking spice, essentially. I'm not getting any of that. I'm getting black pepper. Really? On the nose and on the taste. Oh, yeah, I can see the black pepper. But my nose sucks, and my taste is apathetic. Well, you're the epitome of health, too. So. I have an eight. Oh, Absolutely. I feel healthy. I was so yeah. healthy. My back hurts as I sit here. I'm, I need to go. I can't remember all the Virgil Canes. And you're not telling me what you have, so I can't remember. I remember Rip Track, Roundhouse, I have them Ginger. all but Robert Barron. There's. I don't remember them all. That's what I'm saying. There's Ginger. Right. It's not. We don't have that. We don't have that. There's Ribbon Jones. Rail Rye. There's uh, Electric Owl. There's Ribbon High Rise. Rye. There's Electric Owl. Um, and Ash Cat. Oh, I forgot about Ash Cat. Did you crack Ash Cat just for this? Because that stuff ain't being made anymore. I'm just trying to see the wheels turn in your head is fun. Not watching I'm trying the wheels to get turn them turning. You're seeing me just trying no. to start the engine. Yeah, I'm seeing you try to start. This is like an old yeah. diesel generator in here. Well, it's a crank engine. At you're best. missing the crank. My heart's like a bubble machine. Well, a bubbler. And all it's doing is spitting out the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm calling this one Ashcat. All right, you call that one Ashcat. I don't think it's right. I really think this is a rye, but I can't remember if Ashcat's a rye. But I forgot about Ashcat, and I haven't had that one even longer than any of them. That was one of the first ones we tried, I think. Yeah. I'm calling Ash Cat. Okay. Total guess. Yeah. Don't think it's right. What are you putting down? I put down Electric Cow. Was that the Electric Cow? I don't it know. It could be. It, that's what I think it is. This is why this is so much fun. Oh, I'm having a good time. Don't well, yeah, get me wrong. You're drinking my whiskey. Of course you're having a good time. I really, when you said you're going to a sampler, I was expecting like a B Mate star in a Kentucky tavern thrown in with two better ones. Oh, fuck no. I would. I'd never do that. I wouldn't do that to my some my second worst enemy. What about your first? I'd do that to my first. I'd That's it, what I'd, I'm worried about. I would make it all B mate star. <laughs> all four B mate star. <laughs> and tell them they're different. Oh. They're like, well, that's Pappy. That's what Pappy tastes like. Well, I ain't paying for Pappy then. Well, yeah. Well, I'm not paying for Pappy anyway. Pappy's like one of the most sought after bottles that no one can ever get. And it's it the re- most sought, sought it re- after. It retails for $275. It sells for up to $4,500. Yeah. So in Ohio, if you are in the Pappy Bottle Lottery and you win the opportunity to purchase 
you only have to pay anywhere from seventy five to two hundred and seventy five or yeah, seventy five to two seventy five, depending on which bottle you pick, which age statement. And then you can flip it. And then you can turn around and sell it for another five grand and walk away. So is there like is there a, a black oh, market oh, for that yeah. stuff or like a counterfeit there's a counter, market for it's that just stuff? Secondary like, market. Well, there's there's a secondary market where you can sell there's, stuff, but there well, is yeah. a counterfeit market yes. as well where people will refill bottles of Pappy refill with it. something else that is not obviously, and then reseal the bottles yeah. and turn around and sell them. And people have been busted. I think there's a bigger people are getting get busted for that more than they actually get for selling on secondary markets. Even selling alcohol to a friend is illegal. You're not allowed – like I can't sell a right. bottle to Randy. It's technically illegal for me to do that. Which we don't. Which, we we trade gifts. We do. One person trades a gift of a bottle. One trades a gift of cash. Yeah. It's gift giving. It's that so, time of the year. It's Christmas. Hey, I got you something. <laughs> hey, I got you I something. I got you something. Yeah, that's right. What I do you know? You, I got you $100. Yeah. yeah. What do you know? It's crazy. That, that whole reselling thing is just it's crazy because like I've I've had you know quite a few just over the years I've collected like certain like Jordans or whatever and I can't believe the reselling Insane. market on those fucking sneakers like yeah I mean I, I watched the I don't know if it was on Netflix or something there's like a a small like mini series called like Sneakerheads it was hilarious but like I can't believe some of the stuff. Or the, or the fact that, like, I didn't even know people were counterfeiting those shoes. Like, I there were some that I didn't realize there were, you could still buy some of the old ones because I just was never really – I just I don't know. I never really got into anything. I was always so busy with the gym and everything that I kind of just didn't ever do anything else. And so when certain – when some shoes that were kind of close to stuff I always wanted when I was younger, like, would get released, like, I'd get one here and there or whatever. But now that I know I can get the ones that I actually wanted – I've started selling these things off and like you have to mm-hmm. get them verified like that stock mm-hmm. X thing or whatever. Like I didn't realize that was like a whole process yeah. until like now and they have to be verified that they're not so, fake. And <laughs> like, that's I, crazy. I've seen some stores or actually I think dude mentioned it the other day and I forgot to look it up uh, that some shoe stores are making you wear shoes out of the store to degrade the value so yeah. for secondary pricing. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that around here, but I also don't go shoe yep. shopping. Well, I was going to say, I, I the most expensive shoes I bought were my last pair of New Balances. So <laughs> You got bad shoes. It's Yeah. I, I wore them out because I was like, these are comfortable. My old ones are literally falling apart, so I don't care. But uh, GW, uh, our buddy Drew, we went to Destin with. Yeah. Um, they're both into the shoe game like gw was for the long did they time. get them new yeezys yeah are you jeez that was a fucking joke they they won lotto just like just like bottle lottos though. Yeah, they win the lotto and the secondary on them stupid so it's i mean it's a good investment if you're looking to flip now they it, also it keep is a lot crazy of too. they're not doing just stuff the flip. They're, they're actually collectors now but um like gw would go up to there's a couple stores around columbus and as he's traveling and he'd drop in and look for certain shoes he does it with cards too Baseball cards, you think the market's crap? Basketball, football, there's a very niche market for the right cards that are still making big money. I have a bag of baseball cards I'd like to get rid of. Yeah. Give them to GW. He'll tell you if they're worth worth anything. Worth anything? <laughs> if they worth anything. They're all from the 80s. So you said. Yeah, cards have yeah, come back big I, time. It's, it's a small market, it but is. it's there, and the money's there. Yeah, I got some old comics from, like, the... 60s, 60s, 70s, I think. Some like old Marvel comics. I've got baseball cards from the 80s. I've got some Magic the Gathering cards I need to see if they're worth anything. Nerd. I just bought them. To, I literally bought them when I was in high school, like a freshman in high school, and I've just been, they've been sitting in the box. Like I never even played the game. I played one time. I uh, bought them yeah. in anticipation that they'd be worth something. I did have some friends in high school that played, and <sighs> during exams, like if you don't have an exam, you had an off period. Well, a bunch of us ended up at a buddy's house, and they're all playing Magic. And I'm and like, you call oh, me a fucking nerd. How do you play? And I didn't own the deck. They were like, oh, here's a starter deck. I yeah, said, but you went and deck? played. I didn't play. I won. First time I ever played, I never played again. Yeah. I am 1-0, undefeated, undisputed champion of the world, Magic the Gathering, yeah, gatherer, I've whatever player. Never played a game. Dominated. I guess. My junior year was lit. It oh, got me so many nothing. You were so popular. <clears throat> I was popular because I was a jackhole, and everybody hated me. So what's different today? 
they don't talk to me anymore, and no. you do. All right. Well, that's the, this is the last show we're ever doing. Thanks for the uh, fight J- here, then. <laughs> Jason and I are <laughs> taking over. Other, I'm changing the name to Strong Poor, and we're Jason's <laughs> taking over. It's mutiny. <laughs> yeah, Jason, where's your yeah. podcast at? Last time you were on the show, like six months ago. Oh, my God, I know. I know. Most of gives me shit about it. I, ha- I have pieces, but I, I don't know. I've been struggling lately with just – getting on there and just starting doing something like I have a bad problem with having to have everything be perfect and all oh, this shit. About that. So, you got to get over that real quick. I mean, I No, I, yeah, I know I have, I got, I have, the, I get the microphone and uh, I have the, all the rest of the crap in a cart. I just haven't hit you, the button you need yet. To hit that button. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 I want to do, I, I got to need to do something because I don't, I mean, obviously Andre and I, We'll talk about stuff, but it's like I'm so far away from everybody. And I went from, you know, talking to people constantly all the time to, I mean, almost not. I mean, obviously, I like talk to you guys here and there, but it was just like, man, once the gym shut down, it was just like mm-hmm. gone. Don't really talk to anyone. Don't, I mean, nothing. It was just kind of like it never existed, you know? I mean, so you could, and with this crazy as shit as now, it's, rainbows. I yeah. listen to that podcast all day. Well, yeah. I mean, you can do this. You can you can do the same setup <laughs> we're doing now, and just get them on Zoom and just record the audio through. Because that's what I mean. I'm I'm recording into the system that we use, but I'm also recording the audio from here, yeah. and I'll take the audio from here and I'll match it up with what I'm down or what I'm recording in our um, recording software. I mean, you can just take and just do Zoom recordings and throw them into GarageBand and edit them up yeah. however they need to be edited because it'll do individual tracks. So that you can edit each track. Oh, okay. I mean, I would listen to you because I love the sound of your voice. This is ear candy for all the listeners. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking on a podcast. I, I put you guys on the other day, and it was I was dying. I, I always forget because I just I work by myself. It's time mainly. to listen to a podcast. And I was just I was at a couple of jobs, just messing around, and a couple of the ones that you guys have had lately. And I, every once in a while, I'd, I'd crack up pretty loud and I'd look around and see <laughs> if anybody was there. Like, <laughs> well, that's it. We got to but. Uh, yeah, no, we, we got a new listen. listener who came from Mo. Yeah, her name's Jamie. Um, Shout Jamie, out to Jamie. Jamie Metc- Metcalf, I believe. Um, Jamie? She started listening because Mo posted something on his Instagram, and then it, I reshared it on Instagram and Facebook through the through the show site. And she, her and I were going back and forth, and she's like, well, I started with the show that shouldn't exist. I'm like, then don't go back any further. I said, because... If you go and start at one, like one through twenty, like suck, or one the, the first show suck. Just stay where you're. Uh, at Lowe's, Lowe's and Steel our shows was in that first twenty, was it? I'm pretty. It was pretty early, man. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a good one. That's the one I would just went on in like a one an hour tyrant about Here's Lowe's and Walmart. <laughs> Let's be honest, we're just hit or miss. There are times <laughs> we show up we're in a great mood and we just lay down solid gold, and other times we show up we're in a great mood and we lay down solid turds, yeah. just right here on the floor, yeah. And that makes for terrible audio. <laughs> well, yeah. it makes the thump sound. Or hilarious audio. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to get a mic down there. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, I accidentally, while Music Derek was over last night, I accidentally stumbled upon YouTube channel. I think it's called The Farting Couple. Oh, shit. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let no, everybody no. look that up themselves. Well, but I was in tears. <laughs> that... And that, that speaks volumes to the maturity level of me. Well, we already know that you're super mature. So we got one last one care. to try. We've got D. We got the D. You want the D in your mouth? I'm going to put the D in my mouth whether right. I want it or not. I'll let you know if it's better than <laughs> Mo's shawarma. His beefy shawarma. This is interesting. I don't know what this one is. I kind of wish you put ginger in here just because I like it so much, even though we'd know it right away. I thought about it. But, ooh. All right. I know what I'm putting for this one. Ooh. That's got some heat to it. That one hits hard. Yeah. I like that one. Ooh, tickled the back of my tongue. That's what the D does. Hmm. <laughs> Glad it stopped there. It, this one's got kind of a, it's got some <laughs> some burn to it. Yeah. Holy shit. I know what I'm putting for this. All right. Bo show. All right. And then I'll text Liz and so she can bring up the the list. 
She's just going to text it back to you. Probably. I'll make her get on the microphone. That would be fantastic. She was on one show. She should only be because she her. had to be because <laughs> she was trying to work. Because she was trying to work, and the our our office is the same <laughs> as where we record at. It's like a it's our office. It's the podcast studio, and it's where I come to watch my own TV and movies and play PlayStation. And which PlayStation Five is fucking amazing. I was just going to ask you about that. Pretty hard. It's. I don't understand. Like, is it because of this COVID stuff? Like, why the hell is it so hard to get? I mean, you used to be able to just Scalpers. wait until Christmas it's, or whatever, it's, and they it's, would. It's, yeah. it's, and it's Scalpers just like you can't even to buy up all the inventory within like fifteen to thirty seconds when it's released. So, I mean, yeah. I got lucky. I've noticed that. I've no, and I've noticed people bitching about it a lot too. Even with so, like Nike has this thing called a sneakers app, where like they release a lot of those like special shoes and. I didn't even realize till I saw some people bitching about it was they, because I'm like, I don't understand if I'm standing right there when they open the thing up and you, you know, you hit the button and it says like yeah. you're in line or whatever. And I mean, you, you almost never get anything. Why well, I didn't realize like they have people that are like having bots, like yep. buy up all this shit. And then like, it's a crazy, the craziest thing in the world man. with like GameStop and Walmart target. Anytime that got online, these bots are just coming in from these sellers and just picking everything up like um, within literally within 30 seconds. Like I, I got mine on PlayStation direct and they do it different. They do a queue, but in order to get one, cause there's so many mm-hmm. people, you have to be in that queue within the first 20 seconds of say six o'clock. If that's when the queue opens and I just got lucky. Like I got, I was there yeah. and it just hit it and got lucky. So, all right, Liz is here. Hey babe. Hi. So, Hey, you've got the list <laughs> of, the flight we did. I think and, I don't think I got one right. And Randy and I wrote them all. I told him that it was it was all Virgil Cain, listed them all out, but didn't tell him which ones one that I have. But if you didn't say Virgil Cain, I'd have been totally lost. Right. So out of the hundred we've tried or more. So what is A? So A is Ash Cat. A was oh, oh shit, okay. I was way off. I put Roundhouse. <laughs> I also put Roundhouse. Okay, so A was Ashcat. All right, what is B? B is Ribbon Rail. Ribbon Rail Rye. Mm. So Virgil Kane actually reached out to us and said, what? hey, we want to send you this new bottle we have. What's your address? You've been holding this from me. Fuck yes, I have. <laughs> I, and, and Liz is just grinning because she knows it too. <laughs> so, and, so I get half that bottle. Yes. I'm not going to take – dude, you've given me so much over the years. <laughs> Anytime we get in a bottle, it stays at Martell's yeah, because he so, literally provides like 98% of anything we try. So that is the newest limited release that Virgil came put out. That's the one I like the most. The Ribbon Rail Ride. The B. I, I was going to list it if I had to guess which one I like most to least, which I like them all. So yeah. I was going to say B, C, A, then D. Okay. So I got that one right. So Ribbon Rail would have been my favorite. That's the one you thought had water in it. That's the one I felt. It's so smooth. Really, it is really smooth. That's why I'm like, is this? What proof is it? We'll have to, we'll look, oh, it we'll up. Have to look it up when we, after the show. Um, so no, what's. That one is not the one that I had to dump the water out. Okay. All right. So what's C? C is Roundhouse. Shit. I was way off on that one too. We, we both flip. I, I had Ashcat. I flip flopped. I put Electric Owl. And then D it was Electric Owl. D is I was right that I got none of them right. <laughs> I got one. I got one right. <laughs> but I did. But I got them all I wrong. Guessed. Yeah, I guess like, Ashcat and it was, or I guess Roundhouse and it was Ashcat. I guess Ashcat is Roundhouse. That's the closest I got to calling yeah. something right. But is flip flopping two of them. The only reason I got the ribbon, ribbon rail, rail is, is because you've never had it. So you well, know that I, it was going to be different. Yeah. So. Well, that's the one that you took a sip and said, I know what this is. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, it. he didn't even tell me what four were the options. No, I didn't give him what So four. I'm guessing of all the Virgil King, which I knew so out Ginger of the, would be obvious. That's my favorite. Out of the seven, yeah, I, got I told him that we, Ginger wasn't one of them and Robert Barron wasn't another one. Yeah. Because I only have High Rye and Ginger. Yeah, I guessed High Rye for the last one. It was Electric Owl. That ribbon reel is really good. It is. That's that's so my takeaway from this. I'm going to save what I, I saved a little of each. Yeah, it's so smooth. I'm going to save that for last. That's really good. It almost like that's why I said is it water. It's almost like it's 
watery. It tastes too smooth. Oh, okay. Well, two of them had water in them. Two of these had water in them. I'm sure she dumped the water out. I don't know. I'm going to have to retry the ribbon rail rye now because Liz may have actually just put whiskey and water together. Oh, no. <laughs> Dag on it. Guess we'll have to try more just to make sure. Oh, <laughs> shit. And then we'll try to... one with water to compare. Oh, shucks. I have to drink more. Shit. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so Damn the PlayStation, um, like, I got mine from Sony, from PlayStation Direct. Um, I spent probably most, so I, I think I got it on a Thursday. So I spent every day from, like, Monday to Thursday from 8 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night, every hour on the hour, hitting refresh for five minutes just to see... Just so I could kick off the queue. If the queue was there, I was in. And I would do it on multiple tabs. So I would right. – I had the, the link brought up on like in Notepad, and I would just sit and click the link. I'd wait for the page load, and I'd click it again. I'd wait for the page load until like three to five minutes after that. If the queue didn't show up after that, I just stopped, and then I'd go to the next hour. And I, would, I did that every day from November 12th till whenever and finally ended up getting one on that Thursday and, and got it ordered and paid for. But it was a gigantic pain in the ass just to try to beat the bots and everything else. Like Walmart, one day I got on Walmart, yeah. had it in my cart, made sure to have all my credit card information pre-filled in so I could just click and go. It put me in a loop for the C, uh, the CCV number, the security number on the back of the card. I would put it in i'd hit go and it asked me for the shipping address i put in my shipping address it told me it couldn't find my shipping address send me back to the ccv page put it back in ask for a shipping address and it just put me in this vicious loop of not being able to process the the order and i was getting pissed so That's it's so just crazy. been like it's it's i've been following it still and there are still people like they're trying to figure out how to beat these bots and keep people from buying them up and I think really the only way to do it would be to block IP addresses. Like once an IP address is registered, then that IP address can't buy another yeah. one. They'll get around that too. They'll get around it, but they just need to – it's something to stop them until they can figure out how to get around it. Yeah, because they're, they're reselling them for like 900 it's bucks or something. No, it's like, it's crazy. 1200 Yeah. Oh, I really? See, so on StockX, they're wow. going for 1500 On eBay, they're going for 1500 The Xbox is going for like 950 it's absurd. Like, it's absolutely absurd. A friend of mine that I've known for fucking ever, she's like, I'm trying to get a PS5. How did you get one? You know, my son wants it. I'm like, I got lucky. Like, that's it. if you it. want it, I'll take three grand. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that to her. She's one of my favorite people. 2800 just for you. Friends and family deal. No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it at all. Like, I've been enjoying the shit out of it. I, I play probably a couple hours a day on it. I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm just being the Viking that I am and yeah. just lopping people's heads off. As you do. Like the cinematic portion <laughs> of that of that game when you get into the a fight, he like smashes heads with – like he takes two hammers and smashes some guy's head in between two hammers. He uh, grabs a sword and just impales people on swords. He smacks them with a hammer and then cuts their head off with his hat, with his, his axe. With his hat? With his hat. So is it just like a is it just like a pre yeah. pre done theatrical no, thing or is that you actually done theatrical doing thing based that stuff? on the weapon that you have in your hand or the weapon that the enemy has like he'll mm -hmm. if you take out like a pikeman oh, okay. or someone with a spear he grabs the spear after you kick their ass and stabs them in the from the throat to the asshole and like just sticks them in the ground <laughs> he like just impales them all the way through the body coming to a Christmas yeah. near you I don't remember the one that I played last time I don't. I have one somewhere. I don't know if I don't think I have it anymore. But it was something. It was it was for PS4. Like, but I don't know. It was they were going through oh, England yeah. or Syndicate. something like that. I just remember climbing around on yeah. castles or something. Syndicate. Yeah. Okay. That was a I good played one too. no yeah. Assassin's Creed games. You are missing out on. I've heard they're all. Awesome. It was pretty cool. It, it was definitely different than most of the games like that that I ever played. Like even just the movements and some of the things that you could do and. You know, sneaking up, it seemed a lot yeah. more realistic than some of the other you know games that I had done, and you're you're, you're cool. missing out on 
really, really violent graphic stuff. I mean, I've seen, I've watched you play. JJ had one of the ones years ago, one of the like second or third ones. Oh, they've gotten worse though. I, I'm sure. Like that, I hit some guy and blood hit the screen. Like it just, it went fourth wall and blood <laughs> splattered up on the screen. I was like, all yeah, right, that's I'm fine with that. No, I'm not. called for. Nope. You can turn that off, but didn't I didn't that happen on. in Doom? It like splash Probably. back on the screen. Yeah, I think it did. If you had the the graphic, but violence. you were in first. Yeah, but you were in oh, first I'm person sure. on that one, so it should. Yeah, that's true. This is third person. I want to play Doom when I get home. Okay, I'm gonna play Assassin's Creed the rest of the day after this. Miss it. I got a birthday party to go to. I also have a twelve Hold pack on. of beer that I need to drink downstairs. It just hit me. <laughs> 12, <laughs> twelve days. Twelve, 12 days of milk. St- <laughs> uh, it's the twelve days of milk stout. You're supposed to drink. For the next all in one day, <laughs> no, 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 one one a day for the next. I also have a thing of wine downstairs too. We bought a twelve days of wine package. Jeez, well, Liz and I've been stocking up this the past six weeks. I, I know because like you guys haven't said, touched anything. Like I, said, I think I bought seven or eight bottles of whiskey in the last six weeks, and Liz bought we we are we're in a wine club, so we get two free bottles of wine free. We pay for a <laughs> membership. Uh, we get two bottles of wine from Cooper's Hawk every month. So and then we so we got those balls and we picked up a twelve days of wine Christmas thing. I picked up a twelve days of beer milk stout thing from the uh, the beer store I go to. I got Bourbon County Goose Island's Bourbon County stouts, like a bunch of limited runs of that. Well, looks like I'm gonna be here for a while after we stop recording. Shit, you ain't drinking with me. <laughs> gotta help you. No, 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 no. I don't like you that much. So friends are for. I don't care if you like me or not. That's who said we were friends. We're acquaintances. That's what acquaintances are for. You said we were friends on episode ninety-seven. Jason and I are friends. That's fair. <laughs> He's. How can I compete with that? Dude's coming out here talking about his old Jordan's wearing a Hurley hat. Oh, you I used can. to have a Hurley hat. I could never skateboard, but I had a Hurley hat. Uh, I, I could never that skateboard. I loved. I used to skateboard. And inline skate. I used to skateboard. I'd sit down on it and roll down a hill. Hey, you do you. I could do the inlines, but I could never skateboard. That was not, <laughs> well, not my thing. Yeah. I, but really, I was really into <laughs> BMX biking. I wasn't any good rate on regular skates. Track skate, racing. So I don't know. The inlines were the only thing I could racing, really. Track racing, BMX bikes, and hitting the jumps. The regular skates were fine. That I could do this. I, I kind of like. I would love to see you in regular skates and what, some pigtails. I bet you Fuck, would let's go down up. to Amanda right now. We'll go down to the roller rink. We'll go down your driveway. Don't act like <laughs> you ain't got a pair stashed. No, I don't. I, I wish I did. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. I had I used to have a pair of Those plastic skates. ones I, you put over your shoes as a I'll kid. Fuck those. <laughs> I got a brand new pair of roller skates and you got a brand new key. Oh. But no, I, I had a pair of inline skates, like the the one pair that I used to do street and vert with. Are you shitting me already? We're running we out of time. Another timeout time thing. Um, time flies when you're. But I have, I had them, and I, I ended up getting rid of them because I couldn't wear them anymore. Like yeah. they just hurt my feet. They were so old, and the inner boot was tore up. And I was like, yeah, fuck it, get rid of them. I'll never use them again. But so a, occasionally they have um, skate parties for Harley's uh, dance studio down in Amanda. Nice. And I'll go down there, and you know. Cut a rug on some skates. I think you're supposed to cut the skate floor. Well, I'm not doing that. You're just, you're just on the carpet and arcade machine. Yeah. <laughs> playing playing, playing Mario Buck Hunter over there and <laughs> standing on roller skates. Nor do they hurt. You're just standing on them. Just stand on them. It's fine. Are we going to continue this? Because I have yeah. a question, but I want to know if we're going to stop and do that thing again. Well, again. we're at like an hour. And 20. Hour tw- well, probably, yeah. Hour 20 Shiver at this tank. point for recording. I don't so, care about that, though. We'll have to like do another like conversion and wait however long that conversion. So takes. do you want to just end it here? So yeah, let's. I'll tell you. Let's yeah, let's finish it okay, up. Okay, then and let me ask my we, question. Yeah. Your question because we can answer in the eight minutes and forty five seconds we have left. Yes. Pump the brakes. <laughs> Virgil Kane, after all these years of begging them, reached out to us and sent us a bottle. Yes. Props to Virgil Kane. Yeah. Incredible. Your offerings. We've had four of them here today. Are phenomenal, and I want you to know. Hopefully, you listen through all this. Somebody at Virgil Kane, I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's an owner. I don't care if it's an employee. I don't care if it's somebody that just also likes Virgil Kane. The ginger infused is my favorite whiskey or bourbon or anything ever. I had two bottles of that, and they both disappeared way quicker than they should have. So my that on the rocks right now, 
is my absolute favorite. I like it neat. Don't get me wrong. But that on the rocks or in the old fashioned, phenomenal. I like the ginger as well, but the the electric owl is my favorite by far. That's fair. By far. The ginger just gets me though. My my goal is to have one I would bottle trade of you each electric the... owls for gingers if I had them. Well, go get them and I'll, I will, I will I will make that trade any day. I know. Because the electric owl is way harder to get. Well, it's way harder to get, and it's $100 a bottle versus $25 a bottle. I mean. I will make that trade <laughs> any day. I didn't say one for one. Pump the brakes. <laughs> but serious, we need to say thank you to Virgil yeah, King. Thank you very much. Because we have been King. enjoying is, your offerings for well, I've a couple been, years. Well, I've been a supporter of them since probably a year after they opened. So when I found out, like when I was down in Myrtle Beach one day, I just, I happened upon it. And... Ever since then, I, they've been absolutely mm. one of my favorites. I just finished off my third of four pours. I just finished off the uh, roundhouse. And yeah. I saved the one I like the most for last, which is the ribbon rail, which the is what they rail, sent us. Which is the newest bottle that they just sent us. Fantastic. Out. It's very good. Absolutely fantastic. Very good. We'll have to do like a separate episode where we just review the ribbon rail. Oh, we will. The breakdown. We will. But thank you so much to Virgil Kane. Well, I wanted to do this flight as more of a surprise to you that we got this bottle. I I am blown away. Merry Good. Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to God you. God bless us, Although everyone. We do have a Christmas show that we got to figure out for next week. Yeah, we do. So, And Jason, thank you to Jason for watching us. Yeah, watching us. And, on Zoom. <laughs> in, in injecting. Yeah, it was good, man. It's always appreciated. You can inject me anytime. Uh, That's just, just weird. It's just I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Jason, you're always welcome on the show. Anytime you want to be on, just say. I appreciate it, say, man. Hey, it's I'm always fun. I'm yeah. like, All right, great. So since we always uh, record at the same time on the same day every week, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a moving. I literally you can make it work. I knew we were recording today because it's the day after Martell had you know yeah, had that, drinking thing. We were definitely recording. Today. And last night he's like, uh, "What time?" Because I need to tell Jason what time. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, all right." I mean, cool. <laughs> I'm down with it. Yeah, I, I love having guests on. Yeah, we love having. I love having Jason on. I just love talking to Jason. I just like looking at him. I just need to get a picture of you that I can put as my wallpaper. <laughs> One of those fat heads, just a life size. Can I can, can try? I, can I just save this picture? He's trying. <laughs> I can't, damn it. Screenshot. Well, the screenshot won't do as well. It won't do as well. I mean I can Just get on his Facebook. Yeah. He's not on there. Still a picture from there. I no, I need to get a picture of him swinging his bat when he's playing softball. Ooh. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> Ugh, not, not right now. Talk dirty to me. That Batman. swing's been off, man. Ooh, get it, Batman? Because swing's been super off. But I've been lucky enough to not have to do a whole lot to get it to the outfield, so I can just kind of <laughs> mosey to first base. Hey, really that was my mo. I was either hitting a home run, popping out, or you know what? Let me hit a double, but I'll get the first, and I'm okay with that. That was my that was my whole little league. Yep. Crack one to the outfield, make it the first. Anybody else on my team? Easy double. Yeah. Me, I'm like, hey, I'm good here. I advanced runners. I did my job. Y'all go ahead and run. They try to go for a double, and you're still going to second base. Just yogging, dude. Just yogging. <laughs> yogging my hardest. That's it, man. All right. I'm going yep. to gonna, gonna shut right. this down. I don't want to. I'm having fun. I'm having a blast. I am, too. That's why I was wondering if we were going to keep going. Well, I, I know Jason's got shit to do. He doesn't want to sit here and look <laughs> at us and talk to us. So. I beg to differ. So, oh, I never mind. <laughs> I'll swing on again, man. Whenever yeah, you guys I want, it's on that. You're welcome anytime. Anytime. You, you, and Mo and my yeah. sister all have an open invitation to come on the show anytime. Everybody else has to ask. Yeah, we don't like everybody else. Well, meet Derek <laughs> if he has meets. Yeah, only if yeah, I'm gonna say only, yes. Only if he has meets, then he can come on. If he just wants to come on to talk, you know, that's. A, I'm actually wearing his shirt right now. I just, <laughs> I'm wearing a food shirt. While sitting here talking about how healthy I am. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That's all right. All right. Man. Well, Jason, thanks for being all on right, the boys. show. I sure do appreciate it. Of course. I appreciate so, you having me for the little little bit that I injected into <laughs> hey, the conversation. <laughs> everybody look forward to Jason's uh, podcast. We're going to make him start. Yeah, he's going to have to do it. It's going to be point. about how ridiculous yeah. secondary I'm gonna, are. I'm going to make it happen. We'll, we'll get through the rust together and I'll. Make it into something. Got it. You can do it. You'll do it. So, So, all right. Like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Insta, Google, Twitter, Instagram. Um, If you have questions or comments, you can reach out on whatever social media platform you want. Uh, Buy us Virgil Kane. 
or send us a message at buckhornpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, big thanks to Virgil Kane for sending us the newest limited edition of Ribbon Rail Rye. I am shocked. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. Huge thank you to them. Um, and thanks to Jason for being on the show. All right. I'm Martel. He's yeah. Randy for Jason. We're out. Peace. See you guys. Later. So we got like two and a half minutes left. This thing's still recording, but I've quit recording. That's on the exactly other. how long it'll take me to find my dick to show it to him. Hold on. <laughs> wow. I saw a meme wow. today. Wow. And, and we didn't get that on. Re- <sighs> Jesus. I saw a meme today. <laughs> yeah. It killed me. <laughs> there was a guy like digging in his pants, and it said when it's uh, really cold out and you're trying to pull three inches of dick through five inches of Carhartt. <laughs> I was like, relatable. I've been in that situation. Wow. <laughs>